What's happening out there, gang? It's Friday, heading into the gym. Great week. Busy, busy, busy. The gym's been popping. Tons of trials in the gym, tons of adult trials. The athlete groups are absolutely slammed. July is usually our absolute busiest month of the year. We're, 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 we're you know, killing it on all facets right now. And, uh, you know, doing really good, trying to build up, you know, get ourselves set up for the fall. Uh, we have our quarter three offsite today, so uh, me and the team are, are, are going to one of our favorite little cafes, and they're very nice to us, and they let us post up there for about four or five hours. Of course, we buy a bunch of food and stuff like that. And, uh, uh, you know, we're going to brainstorm and plan out and set our rocks and objectives and kind of, you know, run through a few issues that we've run into over the last couple quarters. We got the halfway point report last night from our CFO and our accountant. So, you know, things are looking good and we're looking to, uh, you know, improve on what we've done so far already this year. And just, you know, you know, when it's going good, you know, a lot of people tend to like, you know, get comfortable. And, and, you know, I always say, you know, when you're in the deep end, that's when you need to swim the hardest. Like when you're going and, 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 you're, and you're flooded with cash and your business is busy, dig in even more, right? Don't take your hand off the marketing machine. That means you've got a hot hand and you're going hard and you cruise in the groove of grinding sessions. Keep it going, man. And uh, keep it going. You know, don't take your foot off the pedal. A lot of guys get super busy in the summer, especially if you're in the sports performance business. You get super business, super busy in the summer, and then, but you take your foot off the marketing gas, and then all of a sudden in the fall, crickets. Right? You got nothing going on, and you haven't put a lot of time and effort into your fall marketing. And, and your, your email list and you haven't nurtured leads the right way and stuff like that and uh, and now you know September comes around and, and, you, and you're slow as hell and uh, I speak from experience you know September the, from August 15th when all of our kids leave for fall football camp and fall camps all, whatever sports they play um, and from August 15th to, to about October 1 September 15 October 1 before we start our fall challenge uh, you know the gym is definitely a little bit slower and uh and and it used to be to the point where like me and dan were like worried we were going out of business right the first couple years we were we were together and we were like literally like standing around like oh my god are we even going to be able to pay our rent like it was it was skimming through um there's been many many years where man, you know where dan and i didn't take a paycheck for that month you know and, and you know and cut ourselves so pedal to the metal gang when you're busiest that's when you market the hardest Right? That's when I want clients coming into the gym when the gym is packed. Right? I want a, a coach coming in thinking about bringing his basketball team in in the fall when I got 60 football players in the gym and I got every trainer on the floor and we're hammering it hard and the music blast and the energy's on top. Right? I want adults coming in for trials. Right? When the gym is popping. Right? It's like, wow, this is awesome. Right? I want them to see, you know, a, a big group of adult clients training high five and having fun and smiling right i want to see i want them to see my coaches getting after it, okay you know and you, you, a client walks into an empty gym that's not a good sign all right so so you know think about what you can do now to set yourself up for later everything you do now it's like training right i always talk about paying it forward with, with your training but you know everything you do in your 30s and 40s sets up your 50s and 60s you know, and, and and so living that healthy lifestyle, eating good, eating clean, training. You know, uh, you know, saying as Hulk Hogan used to say, you know, saying your prayers, taking your vitamins. You know, little, little Hulkamaniacs out there, right? You know, if you want to pay it forward with your fitness. You want to pay it forward with your business. What the marketing we're doing now is getting people in the door in the next two months, right? Because remember, not everybody, not everybody sees an ad and buys, right? They see an ad, they check it out, maybe they call the gym, maybe they don't, maybe they're poking, poking, poking. It could take it could take two months to get a lead into the gym and into a trial, and then that takes another month to convert them to a membership, right? So if I'm not marketing hard in July, my busiest month of the year, right? Then August and September are gonna be slow, right? And that's a fact. So always think ahead, always think, what could I be doing? How, how if what I'm doing now, is going to set me up for success in 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 my slow times, right? And 
making sure that you schedule. Like today, we have an offsite. The entire uh, uh, advisory team, five of us, are out of the gym the entire day, and I have a coach out on drill uh, for the military. Right, so I got. I, I literally only have two coaches in the gym, and they're running everything today. And I have a part. One of our part-time associate admins running the front desk. Right, so me and the entire advisory team will be out for the entire day. And we're gonna, you know, set all our goals, set our rocks, come back with the big objective. Uh, me, after we have our meeting and we go through everything, uh, Phoebe and myself will put together like the game plan. We'll redo our war boards. We'll redo our our, our vision uh, uh, boards and all that type of stuff. We'll, we'll get each department head. will get a game plan, an action plan specific to their department and what what items we took away from the meeting that need to get done in 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 what time frame. And, and and we start, you know, steering the ship, you know, everybody, everybody, you know, on board and go, 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 go into the fall. And, you know, the third quarter is going to take us through uh, September. And, uh, and and once you get through that third quarter, which is usually like one of our slower ones, right? And then it's pedal to the metal. We get set up for the winter. Our absolute busiest time is, is you know, is G July, summer and December, you know, you know, I would say, you know, May, June, July and uh, December, January. Uh, into February are, are, you know, two of the busiest seasons, especially for our athlete population. So, you know, capitalizing on that new year, uh, uh, you know, time frame and getting adults into the gym and such like that. So, you know, if you look at your calendar and you know the year and you set yourself up for success and you're planning ahead and you're meeting with your team and you're scheduling your team meetings, right, regularly, you have to have a team meeting. You have to have, a, you know, at least two team meetings a month minimum. You have to have at least a weekly advisory board meeting. I think that's important. If you miss one or two here and there, that's okay, but it should be on the schedule every week. A quarterly offsite, I think, has been something that's been life changing to us. You know, it also gives us an opportunity to get out of the gym and 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 you know just kind of have a little bit more of a casual environment, spend some time with the team outside the gym. You know, where we can chat and talk, and uh, it's a little bit more low barrier. And, uh, and our yearly offsite, which is two days, you know, locked in a room for two days and, and you know, we don't come out until we get shit done. And, uh, and, and, you know, this year I was thinking about actually going away somewhere and taking the whole team away um, and, and, and doing a three day, right? And, and having like a two day overnighter, uh, get a couple hotel rooms, go somewhere and um, take the team away and come out of there with literally some, some world class change for the gym. And so all, all, all of our biggest breakthroughs have come from you know being outside the gym right when you're in it and you're working it's hard to think right so like dan and i have come up with a lot of great ideas traveling you know being out in utah or california or whatever it was on vacation or 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 on a, on a training trip on a business trip where we're together all day we kind of just bouncing ideas off each other all day running through issues inevitably you wind up talking about issues you know ideas you know goals things like that and, and a few of the best things that we've ever done uh, have come from those, uh, those, those times when we're outside the gym. And, and you know, I, I could speak for the entire team. You know, the first year that we did a yearly offsite for two days, um, we created more systems, more programs, and, and better marketing than we ever had. And it changed the course of our business forever. And we've never looked back. We've done it ever since. And um, that was about five years ago. And, um, and, and you know, it's been, it's been a, an amazing experience. So, you know, set yourself up, think about what you're doing now and how that pays it forward to you for, for, you know, for the months to come and uh, schedule those team meetings, get those rocks set. You know, thinking time is absolutely critical to the development of your business. You have to critically think, you have to ponder. You have, I, that's why I go fishing a lot. I sit out in that boat and I, you know, and I clear, what can we do? How can I make this better? You know, how do I make, how do I become a better leader? How do I lead my team to greatness? How do we, how can we improve our marketing, right? And stuff like that. And people say, turn it off. Psh, I never turn that shit off. I'm out there trying to get better, right? So I try to turn it off. It's almost impossible, right? So uh, that's my tip for today. Set yourself up for success by paying it forward and, uh, and get those team meetings locked in and take time to vision and, and think and, and, uh, and ponder about how you can improve your business. Peace out, gang.